whatever you see in this video is just my opinion. I'm not a professional photographer or anything like that. So taking my advice might get you in trouble. Hello YouTube. I usually don't make review videos or anything like that very often. I've made a couple, but after all, who really wants my opinion? I'm no, I'm a novice at this stuff. I'm no f professional photographer or anything remotely like that. So, how much my opinion is worth is, I guess, up to who's listening. <laughs> I bought uh, some items for my Gro GoPro recently. I noticed when I did one of my videos in editing, like the one for Pine Knob, and there was a one in North Carolina with my son and his girlfriend, that the GoPro, I used it on a selfie stick. It, it was really unstable, you know, real, a lot of problem keeping the camera straight, you know, and picks up a lot of jittery stuff. And the mic, internal mic, seems to rattle when it's in the case, the, the original GoPro case. It seems to rattle quite a bit at times seems to fit in there tight and everything and I've seen some videos where you can put some padding in there and something and maybe stop some of that but, uh, to me you shouldn't have to do something like that so I did a lot of research on gimbals and microphones and stuff like that and ended up buying a, a external microphone kit for the GoPro and a gimbal and stuff like that I have the Hero 5 Black, and this is in its original case, and uh, this is what I used on the selfie stick in my videos, and if you watch those videos, you'll see what I mean with it. S sometimes the sound not being right, and uh, a lot of noise and rattle in the case or camera or something. So I am haven't got to try it out yet, but I bought some accessories to try to take care of that. Problem with, is with the Hero 5 Black, black you have to have an external adapter GoPro adapter to use an external mic with this which they could have just put a support in there to do that I don't know why they didn't I guess they make extra money on selling the extra accessories so to do that you need this here it's a uh, adapter plugs into the GoPro Pour it on the side and you can plug a 3.5 millimeter mic into it. So the purchases I made, I bought a kit, which I'll be talking about. It has the adapter, the case for, for the adapter, because otherwise you're going to have that mic just hanging down or that adapter hanging down. and. You need to velcro it or do something to keep it from hanging down everywhere. Sorry about all the hanging downs. So put that on there and it's got a mount on the top for a microphone if you can see that. And also in this little kit came the H, I guess that's an A, H and A. Compact shotgun condenser microphone. I bought these off eBay. I'll put a link in the description so you can look up and see what kit it was and all that. Also, I bought a Zune, Zune gimbal. Uh, you can look it up, see how, say, I can't pronounce some of these words even if I know how to pronounce them. gimbal comes in this case like this and we'll talk about the gimbal later first we'll talk about the microphone and the kit okay here's your case uh, one thing I did notice when the case with the GoPro you'll see got a piece of tape stuck to my finger sorry about that that you clip, it opens, the back opens up, and you slide the GoPro out.
with this, they send no instructions or nothing. That this was in, just in the box like this. I think it did have some plastic wrap or something over it. But uh, I had to look around. I was used to that clip. I was trying to find how to open it. With this one, it has a little clip right here in the lower corner, left-hand corner, if you're behind the camera. And you push it to get it to release and then slides out and then put your camera in and slide back in of course so uh, they could have put some instructions in there to tell you that because it took, took me a couple of minutes to look at this and figure out well how the heck does this thing open then I find the little clip and get it open and of course it has the compartment for the GoPro mic adapter in it. A little bit of a chore to get that wire through there. And it slides in there and you have to leave the door off your GoPro. If I get this out here I'll show you which door you need to leave on. Of course if you have one of these you probably already know this. The door here, it does pop right off. And then you can mount it in there and plug your mic in there. The next thing in this kit was the uh, microphone kit. You get the microphone. It comes with the stand on it. Uh, you get the uh, wind shield, whatever you want to call it there, and also the foam one. You get what they call the dead cat for noisy, windy areas. I haven't got to try any of these out, and today you'll, this is one reason I'm making this video, is today I'll be going out and trying some of this stuff out. It's pretty windy out there today, so it'd probably be a good day to try this out and see the differences. It also comes with the cables, one for your GoPro or any other device like that you might want to use it on, and one for a cell phone. It has uh, four connectors there. <coughs> so with that said, we will be taking these out in a little bit. Now the next thing I want to touch on is the gimbal. The Zoom gimbal is uh, it's well made, feels good. I did a lot of research. Uh, everybody seems to like it real good. When it's in storage it's got a lock on here to lock it out. All that. It comes with a carry strap. A charging cable. And if I can get it out of the box, out of the case, things fit real tight in there. This screws onto the bottom of the gimbal. and makes a tripod so you can stand it up, get your camera on there and balance it. That's pretty helpful. Of course you have your screw and your plate to mount it with. And you can find all a lot more information about this gimbal online. Look it up. It's this is the Crane M2 by Zoom. I forgot to mention that. What model? Uh, this plate you can mount a GoPro, a, a phone with a camera on it, or the bigger slot you'd use for a larger camera like the uh, Nikon I'm shooting on now. I did try it on this and the little gimbal does seem to handle it okay. I just did it for a little bit because I didn't want to over do it too much on those little motors.
Now one thing about this gimbal, and I watched a lot of videos on it, and this kit, you got to put your camera on the gimbal and balance it, get good and balanced, which with the, my GoPro, I can get that thing balanced perfectly where you can't even tell the gimbal's turned off. When you turn it on, you don't even really see much movement in the camera at all when it balance, levels everything out. Problem is, when you mount the mic shoe on top on this and get the GoPro and everything in here, this will not balance on that gimbal. I seen another video where a guy said said the same thing. You cannot use this with this gimbal. He was uh, mistaken there. You actually can if you do something like what I did. This gimbal has a quarter twenty thread like you do for a camera mount there for mounting on the side. So what I did is instead of mounting the mic up here, I mounted the mic on the side. I just took a uh, screw out of a lot of hardware I have around here and made one that would screw into the side of the gimbal. Got me a lock nut. I got to put one on the other side. And as I'm using the gimbal, the mic's hanging off the side. And it balances really well. It does balance good without that microphone on top of there. So it can be done. There's maybe certain procedures because this thing has roll and all this that you might, mic might get in the way of. So if you're looking to do what they call the vertical roll with this gimbal, you might want to reposition that a little bit or something. All the features and stuff of this gimbal, you can look. I'm not going to go through all that. You can find tons of videos on them. Uh, it feels well made. Uh, it was easy to balance the camera on. It's got locks and everything to keep... Uh, storage like I said before so what we will do today we're going to take her out in the wind and try her out uh, hopefully I'll be able I will compare the selfie stick that I use to the gimbal and we'll compare different settings with the microphone now with the microphone settings in in the GoPro Hero 5, you would set this microphone to standard mic or standard mic plus. There's two settings for that. Standard mic plus gives you a 20 dB gain. So we'll try it out both ways. This is what they call a shotgun mic. So it's going to pick up more from people out in front of you than anything behind. If you stand behind it, you're probably not going to be as loud as the person that's standing right in front of you. So with that said, I'll see y'all out here in the wind and chilly day today. So I brought along my guinea pig, I mean grandson, to help me uh, test some of this stuff out. Right now you're seeing the GoPro with a stock mic. If I say the word G-L-P-R-O, <laughs> the camera reacts because I got voice control turned on. It just shut off on me. So right now I got it on the selfie stick with the stock set up no external mic anything like that it's pretty windy out here today and one of the challenges that's one of the challenges with the selfie stick as you probably see a lot of jerkiness and movement around on me and uh john you'll see we are in front of the world famous bill monroe museum <laughs> World famous. So if any of y'all in the bluegrass, you might know who we're talking to. There's a pathway that goes around the museum. We'll take a trip around it. We decided to go ahead and test some other stuff with the selfie stick first before we go to the gimbal. 
like uh, giving you a POV perspective and walking. If you've seen the video on Pine Knob with my daughter, you this is a selfie stick and same thing I was doing there. No, actually, Pine Knob, I had it on the chest mount. I did not have it on the yeah. selfie stick. It was the North Carolina with my son and his girlfriend at the reservoir where I used the selfie stick. And, I mean, if you stop and pan slowly, it may not be too bad. Sure, you're probably picking up a rattle from this darn GoPro camera because it seems to do that a lot. <laughs> Last time I went on this trail, we had a bike wreck coming back. There's a big hill that goes up over here. Yeah. And then it comes down, and Jesse and Courtney were riding, and both are no, Jesse's bike had pegs and it had no brakes, and Courtney decided to get in front of her, and Jesse tried to get over. Back wheel caught the peg. Oh no. So, yeah, it was not very pretty. So we got a little stream here for maybe a, a pretty panoramic shot, or point of view, whatever you want to call the shot. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I wish the viewfinder on this thing would stay on. I can turn it to where it would never shut off. We'd kill the battery so fast. Okay, now we will switch to the gimbal. The camera shut off again because I said a certain word. Okay, we're gonna turn the gimbal on now. And I got the handle backwards. Bear with me. Okay, now the gimbal is on. And I already see a lot less shakiness in that camera. One thing cool about this gimbal, I can tap my trigger three times. And it goes into selfie mode. I don't have to turn the whole thing around. And there you are. <laughs> I need a really long arm to get both of us in the frame, I think. Oops. Three taps and turn back around to a normal position for the gimbal. Now we're gonna go up. Down. And we did a side to side pretty much. So remember I said you was the guinea pig? Yep. Can you run? Can I run? Yeah. We'll just set everything down here and we'll just run right up to the curve. I'm gonna follow you. Just jog or run? Just jog because I can't run too fast. All right. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to see some bounce in there, but I'm sure if we did that with a selfie stick, which we did not try, it would be something totally different. Yeah. So Look! They don't want any motorized vehicles in that ditch. That's completely <laughs> If I got it framed right. So make sure you stay out of that ditch with motorized vehicles. And I've seen that button just pop off. I seen a video where a guy said the joystick button kept popping off on him. And as we were running back, 
I uh, hit my thumb on that joystick button, it popped off. Luckily, it hit my shirt and landed on the ground in front of me and I found it. Otherwise, I couldn't operate the joystick. So I'd have to try to get a new button. So be aware of that if you get this gimbal. Don't let your thumb get under that button and pop it off. That's the first time it's happened to me, but I did see a guy in a video where he said it happened to him several times. Okay, go mode, which it's in now. If John was to, say, get up here and run past me. Yeah, I'll just throw that stuff down there. Go mode is supposed to be for action. I feel that motor doing something. And once you're in go mode, if you stand back away from John a little bit. Oops, I gotta get in the right mode. Two taps, two taps. Vertigo, Vertigo. You ever see the movie Vertigo? I think I've seen it once or twice. <laughs> okay, back to normal, or abnormal in my case. I guess we'll walk around to the bench and try mount the microphone and try it in different uh, scenarios. One thing I want to do check with this. Does this case rattle on this thing like it does the selfie stick or on the chest mount, on the motorcycle? And does it pick up any motor noise from this gimbal? in beautiful rosine in the fall, in the winter time. Okay, now we are in what's called super mic mode. It gives the microphone a 20 decibel gain. So, tell me another joke, John. This is with the dead cat on, by the way. Um, shoot. I don't know. 
don't know another one. Okay, just give me a count. Five, four, three, two, one. All righty. Now let's switch back to the phone. Okay, now we have the phone windshield. Did we already do the count and all that? Not for this one. Okay. And we are in super mic mode. Right. Joke or count? Uh, five, four, three, two, one. All righty. And now with just the bare mic. John is what we say about three and a half, four feet. Three and a half, four feet. What was you doing that night out there making all that trouble? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's your interview. We know we did it. We just don't know why. <laughs> so now we can go to the gimbal with the microphone. Yeah, I think we did all the microphone tests on the tripod. Tripod almost fell over. Almost a catastrophe, but we saved it. Yep. So here we are with the dead cat on. I don't know if it's because I'm moving that gimbal, if it's coming in front of the screen or not. But usually I wouldn't carry the gimbal like that anyway. I normally carry it more like this. And instead of pulling the three triggers for selfie mode, since the mic is mounted to the gimbal instead of the camera, I would turn, just turn the whole thing like this. Hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Big piece of metal come blowing this wind, get us. We'd have footage of it happening. Yes, it Same. would be recorded. Did I forget anything? No, we got everything. I got cool. the bag in the tripod. This little hill right here where it goes down there, that's where they had the bike wreck. They had it right down at the bottom. It's so, where they wound up being at after they got done skidding everywhere. Down there by that bench? By the, they, went, they ended up more by the creek. Oh, they were. <laughs> Roger came down that little road, that little gravel road beside it, and got the bikes and got them. And went, that's whenever they lived. Still lived in Rosine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you camera shy at all? Not much. Not much? Not much. You get tired of being my guinea pig yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet? Whoops. Whoops. Take care of that. <laughs> now, of course, with this mic set up, since I don't have it round, mounted right to the top of the camera, I can just swing it around toward me, and that would help in the uh, other mode as well. And that way if I'm showing you something in the camera and describing it, I can point the mic right at me. Which could come in handy, I reckon. Yeah. So why do they call this a dead cat? I don't know. Probably because of the fur looking stuff coming off of it. What's well, made John us? <laughs> <laughs> it could be a dead cat. Yum! <laughs> <laughs> yum yum sauce. <laughs> yum yum <laughs> sauce. So did we run behind you with this? Or only yes. the selfie stick? Um, yeah we did it with that one. Did we? Yep. Did we do it with the selfie stick? Uh, don't know. Huh. I have no idea. Old age? It's happening to you too. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> so, not very many people watch my videos, especially my 
review or advice videos but if anybody in Rosine happens to watch this that bicycle has been sitting there for three weeks I can see it from my house so if anybody's got a missing bicycle it's here at Bell Monroe's Museum parking lot So there you go, people of YouTube. That's my comparison video, I guess you would call it. No advice, really, except for don't listen to my advice. <laughs> and uh, not really a review, because like I said, I'm a novice. I don't own any other gimbals or mics like this to compare with. So opinions really not worth that much <laughs> but if you learned anything let me know if like my video subscribe and comment <laughs> yes comment tell me what you think good or bad catch you later y'all bye have a good one.